at Circuit Happy, we make uh, clock generators with Ableton uh, Link integration. So it, it'll it'll generate clock either CV clock or MIDI clock out to other devices. So I have I have the Missing Link Junior here, the, our desktop version, clocking uh, the model samples drum machine, and then I have two of my Eurorack module, uh, ML2 and the forthcoming ML2M, which is replacing ML2. Uh, so they generate clock in various formats that you would need, up to 24 pulses per quarter note for something like Pamela's new workout. Uh, each output is individually configurable, so you could have two clocks in different divisions if you wanted to, or they can be a pair with a reset pulse that will pulse at the start of a loop or at the start of playback or the end of playback. So you have, you have some fairly uh, flexible clock for your system, but then what's super cool about them is they have Wi-Fi, and so over Wi-Fi it will synchronize with any Ableton Link device on the same network. So right here I have three devices. I have two ML2s and the, and the Missing Link Junior, and they're all on a network that Junior here is, is has created. So this this one is is pulsing to tell you that it's making a network, and the other ones are solid because they're connected to a network, which is this one here. And so I have a portable Wi-Fi network. So if you're in a remote area and don't have local Wi-Fi, that, like you're in a forest or something, um, then you have you still have a way to link up with with Wi-Fi. So you can create a network on the fly, um, or you can, at home in your studio, you just link up to that home studio network and then everybody just connects up to that. Um, and so once they're connected, they are, will we'll share a timeline, uh, like, like, like in a DAW. Uh, and I represent that as a loop. And so they, they quantize the starting of the clock. So when I hit play, it's gonna take a minute and now it's gonna start, start playing. Now if I wanted to bring the drums in, I can press play on, on Junior here, and now, and now the, the drums are going. And now down here, this, this one is clocking a chord module. So now we have chord going. And then because it's, it's Ableton, Ableton Link, I have a laptop over here hanging out. I'm gonna take the, drum, I'm gonna take the drums out um, by stopping Junior, and now I'm going to start this so we'll get a uh, almond break going. Because they're all talking over Wi-Fi together, they're aware of the, their, their shared tempo. So any of the devices, you can you can change the tempo, and they'll they'll update. And you can see on Junior here as I change the tempo, it's it's updating, or I could change it here. And I could do, change it fast. So on on the new on the new module, uh, a, a big feature request was: can is there any way to squeeze MIDI in, into ML2? So uh, I I thought about it with my my engineering buddy uh, Matt. Uh, shout out to Matt Campbell Ferrix uh, Engineering. He he helped me design this and, and come up with some really smart circuitry for it. Uh, so by default, when you get it out, you know, fresh out of the factory, these, these, both of these outputs are doing CV clock. So you have an A and a B port, and they're both doing five volt CV clock. Uh, but if you hold the tap tempo button down, it goes into a little secondary mode, and the play button is a toggle. And when I, when I press the play button, I've just switched B to uh, TRS MIDI. So both of these jacks are, are TRS jacks. So I could plug in a, a TRS MIDI adapter and get five, five pinned in. Um, and then the first port actually is a TRS jack as well. And so with a, a dual mono splitter cable for, to TR, from TRS, I can plug that in. And, and now these are my, my A and B CV clock. So I, with two ports, I get three ports with, with the splitter. So it's Super compact, kind of. I like I like to think of the ML2 as almost being like an expander 
for whatever sequencer you have. It, it gives it Wi-Fi connectivity and you just put it next to that, that module and patch it in and, and now all of a sudden it's, that sequencer, is uh, your system is now ready to sync up with iOS music apps, DJ software, a lot of new hardware has link in, in it now. So tons of potential for adding in various bits of gear that were not possible or, or much more difficult before. And yeah, other than that, um, another, another handy feature with having Wi-Fi sync in multiple of my devices is they, they sync up together. So you can imagine this being one person's case and this being another person's case. And then when you get together to jam, you just get on the same Wi-Fi network together and you don't have to patch any clocking mm. cables. And if one of you goes home, you're not interrupting anybody by having to unplug cables. It, it, it doesn't disrupt the clock flow. Everybody else that's jamming can still keep jamming. So it's, it's just like a really flexible way to, to, to jam. Even if you're not doing anything with Ableton Live or a DAW, it's, it's, it's a great kind of DAW-less clock that gives you so many options for synchronization. What's the availability uh, or on the new one? The new one should be out at the end of the month. That's that's what we're aiming for. And pricing? <laughs> or, what's pricing? That? pricing? Oh, the, oh yes, the pricing. Uh, the, it will be uh, US two forty. All right. So, when where can people uh, find out more? Yeah, go, you can go to circuithappy.com, and right there, there's at the top of circuithappy.com is a little banner that says ML two M. Click on that, it'll bring you to our website. And actually, right now, if you if you go to if you go to the ML two M product page, or actually even the home page. There's a, a, a Google form, yeah, add your email to that. That's, that's a new email list I'm, I'm setting up. And so you can sign up for my new newsletter to learn when ML2M is out and you get entered to win a t-shirt. So I will be mailing out some t-shirts in a couple weeks when I do that drawing. Sounds good. So, Thanks, Ed. Cool.